in the previous class we have seen multi loop controllers in the multi loop controllers uh, we have seen <coughs> casket control today we are going to see selective control systems in that category there are two types of controllers one is override control and actioneering control both let us see today this is uh, override control this is uh, override control sometimes uh, here how many measurements are there here we are measuring the pressure and uh, here we are measuring the level level transmitter is here here pressure transmitter is there here level is measured it is a, a boiler it is a boiler boiler will produce steam you know this is the boiler boiler produce steam here depends upon the demand depends upon the demand this valve will be adjusted this valve will be adjusted this valve is operated by this uh, pressure controller if the demand increases what will happen the pressure in the line will decrease if the demand increases the pressure in the line will decrease so we have to open more to maintain the pressure we have to open more to maintain the pressure similarly if the demand decreases the pressure will increase the pressure will increase in that case we have to close that way this pressure controller will work here suppose the demand is go on increases what will happen we have to open more means sometimes the level in the boiler will decrease as demand only if we see if we look at the demand only then the boiler level may decrease to a dangerous level that's why we should protect the boiler we have to protect the boiler at the same time we have to maintain the pressure in the line which is highest priority the level in the boiler is highest priority because we have to protect the boiler that's why if the level decreases then automatically the control should is not a pressure controller it becomes a level control it becomes the level control so that's why this l s s switch is there low state selector low state selector l s s so whichever is a low state if the level is less it becomes level control because level is dangerous if level falls below certain level then the boiler will be damaged that's why to avoid that instead of controlling the pressure it will look after the level that's why there is a selector switch whichever is less if pressure is less it will control pressure if level is less it will control level that's why this level will override pressure if level is less the pressure is less means the pressure will override the level that's why it is called override control that's why it is called override control it's overrides the other whichever is less will be selected <laughs> so this lss select the the lower value of one among these two if pressure is less the loop one will work if level is less loop two will work only one manipulated variable but two measurements are there similar to casket control another example for override controller is compressor the compressor will supply pneumatic signal to many processes for that uh, the flow controller is there flow controller is there depends upon the demand uh, depends upon the demand the flow flow transmitter will adjust uh, will adjust the speed of the motor speed of the motor that is the idea uh, to maintain the flow rate uh, it will adjust the motor 
suppose if the demand increases uh, flow rate will decrease so that uh, the motor speed has to be increased that is the idea but uh, the pressure uh, may be very high so that uh, the compressor may not withstand such pressure in that case uh, the priority must be for pressure control not flow control that's why here yeah high select high signal select hmm? high signal select there it is called the low select here high signal select whichever signal is higher will be selected if pressure signal is higher the priority will be given for pressure controller if uh, flow rate is higher than pressure control then flow rate will be controlled the normal procedure is we have to control the flow rate of the supply flow rate of the supply has to be maintained that is generally it will be maintained whenever the pressure inside the compressor increases in that case we have to ignore the flow controller and we have to take care of pressure controller that's why hss is there to select one among the pressure control output or flow controller output based on that the speed of the motor will be adjusted here the set point to the speed controller set point for this speed control is given by this controller it is a casket control casket control that's why it is this speed set point is given by the speed set point is given by either flow controller or pressure controller based on that we are getting uh, the pv as speed it is compared with the set point based on that the speed controller will adjust the motor speed that is another example for override control third example is uh, here <laughs> low pressure steam line the steam will be supplied to the entire factory wherever the steam is required that is heat supply is required for that uh, there are two lines one is for high pressure steam line another one is low pressure steam line the low pressure steam line will supply to all process the pressure in the low pressure will be maintained uh, by adjusting this valve that's why there is a pressure transmitter that pressure transmitter regulates this valve pressure transmitter regulates uh, the pressure transmitter is given to this pressure controller set point is given here based on that it will regulate the valve in a normal mode but uh, the pressure in the high pressure line increases beyond the safe value then uh, it is not important it is not important to maintain pressure at the low pressure line instead the pressure in the high pressure line should be reduced first that's why it will instead of controlling the pressure in the low pressure steam line it will control the pressure in the high pressure steam line so whichever is higher will be selected by this hss i select switch i select switch will be used to select the high signal so that these are all based on the safety safety based on the safety safety is first than control that's why whenever the pressure the high pressure uh, steam line increases automatically the control will be transferred to loop 2 instead of loop 1 these are the three examples for override controller all the three cases uh, based on safety the first case uh, here if the level falls below certain level it will be dangerous for that uh, um boiler that's why instead of controlling the pressure it controls level the second case uh, uh, here also the flow rate is controlled depends upon the demand but uh, whenever uh, the pressure in the compressor increases beyond uh, safe value then uh, instead of controlling this flow rate the pressure will be controlled by this motor it is a casket control the third one is uh, uh, the low pressure steam line supplies to all Uh, processes wherever the steam is required it, it takes uh, steam from the high pressure steam line uh, 
so it depends upon the demand the pressure in the low pressure streamline will be maintained but uh, during that time if uh, high pressure is uh, developed in the high pressure streamline beyond the cf value then instead of controlling this uh, pressure in the low pressure streamline it will control the pressure in the high pressure streamline by opening this valve these are all based on the safety for that uh, which controller has to be selected based on this hss high select uh, high um, signal high select signal device will select one among the two signals